Ryan. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on. Gross. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Create agreements, new agreements based on love and respect. Take the responsibility to make new agreements with those you love. If an agreement doesn't work, change the agreement, create a new one, and use your imagination to explore all the possibilities. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 301, NASDAQ's up 26, SPs are up 23. Gold, gold contract up $11.20, traded at 2015 an ounce. We have silver up uh, 55 cents, $22.94 an ounce. Look at this copper market, man. Copper was doing an ABC up to 401, 404. We're at 375. It's up five and a half pennies right now. Oil, oil's up buck sixty-five. $78.30 a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10-year note up four ticks, trading 110.04. The 30-year up nine ticks at 118.26 in King Dollar. King Dollar's down 421 ticks, trading out at 104.302. Euro at 107. Yen 149. British pound 125 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877 927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want we'll to know what's going on in your world. Now, in the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. Because I suspect what we have here is that you've got to remember something. President's Day is Monday. We'll close Monday. Um, you know, so we'll see what the action is tomorrow. But most times what you do have, you got to remember people in the Northeast, okay, their children are off. There's a school vacation. So more than likely, tomorrow, even though the PPI is coming out in the morning, we're probably going to have lighter volume tomorrow also. We'll see how this shakes out. But right now, what you have is this, is that you come off the high, you come off with volume. Two and a half weeks ago, we also had volume, and I think that's the target right now. I still think that's the target that's going to go down and retest. You know, I, I don't see anything more than that. I can tell you that because there's not enough sellers. Um, but we'll see how this shakes out. You know, so right now, we had that contraction. Well, yesterday, the volume wasn't that bad. You know, you're still coming at 68 million yesterday. Today, we're at 40, so you're going to do 50, and that's the type of contraction that you're looking for. Now, with the highs, we only did 56, okay? Uh, we're already at the lows of the highs, because the lows of the highs is 500.24. So you're already into the bar, so that's saying you're going to go after the bar. Well, it's going to get intriguing here, of course, is that if the PPI comes in bad, meaning that'll be good for the marketplace, um, you know, we'll see. Hey, the test is going to be tomorrow. If it, it blows by it, it blows by it, you know. Um, if it basically oscillates around it, that would be saying that it will come back and you're going to have a small consolidation right here. And the X100, we take a look at the three Qs. And we're going to have AMAT come in out after the close out here today, which, you know, we'll have some action here. So on the three Qs, you have the same contraction, okay? Yesterday what we did, we did 48 million, you're only at 31. Uh, let's see, the bottom of that is the 435. Yeah, we haven't hit the bottom of that high yet. You know, I suspect we will tomorrow though. We go into the uh, gold contract and we deal with the gold contract. You know, my take on this gold contract is that I think we basically got a blowout bottom, but we'll find out how this shakes out. Uh, you get 1.9 million contracts right now, which is great contract volume, by the way. Yeah, it's good contract volume. And we are back inside the range. You need to get back in 2007.40, and you're back inside the range once again. And we go over to the dollar. You know, we look at the dollar. You know, it's all about the dollar and interest rate structure still, and that's not going to change, folks, okay? So the dollar did just over 0.618 by ticks, okay, of the whole move down. Now the question is going to be, does it get back inside the lower range? You know, right now you're at 104, 255, you are down 248 ticks. Um, that being said, though, there's a lot of ranges here, and you're still in the higher range. We go take a look at the note and bond market, 
and that's getting some juice behind it also. Pull this back up. Okay, so if you take a look at this, we got to 110.17 today. We're at 110.04, 1.7 million contracts. That's good contract volume, but it's still going to need more. But this is, this is the building cause to repair the damage that was done on Monday, because that was some heavy damage. There's no two ways about it. Now, that damage was still with lighter volume than we went up on. So that's still saying that there's still more buyers than sellers out here. Volatility, I expect the volatility is going to be choppy. It's going to be out here. It's going to be all of the above. Uh, that being said, we're on the other side of the interest rate structure, you know. And now let's go to copper, because copper, and you can see it on the, you know, I brought up a couple of copper stocks yesterday, TGB in particular, and TGB was moving before the copper contract was moving. Uh, you can see that the last high of the cop copper contract, we made it to 397. When you put this on a larger one, I, put, I was looking at, I've been looking at this a lot lately in the last six months, because on a larger generic contract, when you bring this back, this 405 is sticking out like a sore thumb, actually. You can see, is that the 405? Yeah, here's, well, that's actually 435. So I'm, I'm not even going up to that point. The 405, the way this is on a lot longer term basis, you can see it's a nice setup, man. Um, this level here that we came down to on a monthly basis didn't get into its lows. The lows would have been 301. We rejected 3. Sorry, folks, it's so far away sometimes. Yeah, rejected 365. <laughs> so that's saying that, you know, even 435 is gain. And if you go to, let's see what TGB is doing out here today, because this thing is a personality stock that likes moving. It actually, yeah, see, it moved. It, it, this move before the copper contract moved. TGB knows that copper's going higher, man. And every penny that copper goes higher, you know, that equity loves it. It should love it. <laughs> because they got millions of ounces of copper. Stay right there, folks. Come back with our Mr. Tim Ward. We're going to go over these markets. Come right back.